Hello everybody, welcome to Golden Coast Woodworks. Today we'll be making a pair of folding saw horses. All of the cuts for this project are done at the miter saw. Since I'll be making two of these, there are a total of eight legs, four cross pieces, and two material surface pieces. All eight leg pieces need to have an angle cut in both the top and bottom ends. I do this at the table saw because it's a much cleaner cut in comparison to my miter saw. These angles will be parallel to each other. One side of each pair of legs and the cross pieces that will attach them all need pocket holes. I do this with the Craig Foreman. I originally recorded the audio for this scene in directly into my camera, but it didn't come out properly. So essentially I just wanted to show how pocket holes are only in one side of each pair of legs. I just wanted to briefly show you how I marked the guidelines for where I'm placing the legs on the material surface piece. Um, I placed a line dead center of the board from end to end and then I measured in from each end and that will allow me to align the outer edge of each pair of legs. In order to figure out the uh, hinge placement for the folding part of these legs, I temporarily attached one leg in its final position. I then proceeded to attach the hinge to the leg that I had just screwed into the surface piece um, using some wood screws. With the leg held in place, I use a pencil to mark the top hole of the bracket on that leg. This will be used to attach it. I now need to attach the legs together, so I have to temporarily remove the leg from the top surface piece, but I leave the hinge in place. So my table wasn't big enough to do this in an easy fashion, so I essentially just propped the other leg on my shoulder while screwing um, the other side of the leg into the bracket or attaching it to the bracket. The process you just watched was repeated on all four sets of legs. After that was done, I just reattached them using the existing pocket holes and the layout lines that I had already placed on the top surface piece. Now that all the leg pairs are attached to the top surface piece, I proceeded to attach the cross members using the pocket holes I drilled earlier. To prevent the legs from overextending when they are under heavy material, I decided to add a length of chain and some eye hooks to brace them when they're in that open position. I decided to test the sawhorses to see how much weight they could individually hold. And I'm doing this with my own body weight. I weigh about 210 pounds, and as you'll see here in a second, these have no problems holding me up. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button down below. If you want to receive notifications for future builds, please subscribe to my channel and enable those notifications. There are plans available for this build on my website, you can get that link down below in the description section. Hope you're all having a great week or weekend, and I hope to see you on my next build.